Dalia from Electrocombot. Today I'm gonna talk about how to implement a digital Chebyshev bandpath filter in MATLAB. So before starting the video, I assume that you already know some very basics about uh, some very basics of filter, like you know the frequency response of a ideal low pass filter frequency response of an ideal high pass filter the frequency response of an ideal band pass filter the frequency response of an ideal band stop filter all pass filter okay so uh, if you uh, want to uh, if you want me to uh, make some more videos on the basics of filter then you can comment it in comment section i will try to upload some more videos on basics of filter okay so let's get started so what is a filter in engineering a filter is a device which selects some uh, desired component of frequency and attenuates heavily the other undesired frequency component from a signal okay so there are uh, four types of filters which are very famous and which are uh, generally used in industries first one is the butterworth filter second one is the chebyshev filter third one is the elliptical filter fourth one is bessel filter okay now one question is, uh, for you guys which one is the best filter in these four filters okay i have also uh, written the answer but uh, the answer is elliptical filter but the main question is why elliptical filter are the best filter in these four filters so let's check out the answer okay so uh, at your screen this is a frequency response of a low pass filter okay this is a frequency response of a low pass filter uh, the frequency response for a uh, just a second the frequency response for a bessel low pass filter the uh, the red one the green one is for the low pass butterworth filter the orange one is for low pass chebyshev filter and the blue one is for low pass elliptical filter and if if i draw ideal frequency response for a low pass filter the ideal frequency response for a low pass filter this is the frequency response of an ideal low pass filter as you can see there is an abrupt change from the pass band from the pass band why this is a pass band because at the low frequencies the gain is constant okay and in the stop band in the stop band the uh, or, or for the high frequencies the gain is very low or negligible okay so as you can see the elliptical filter the elliptical low pass filter is very much closer to the ideal frequency response curve the red one here okay and the bessel filters are farthest away from the ideal frequency response curve so that's why we call the elliptical filters are the best filter for uh, are the best filter in these four filters uh generally we don't use we don't use elliptical filter or we don't use the bessel filter also the other uh, reason why we don't use the bessel filter generally is uh, very obvious because it is, uh, it is it is farthest away from the ideal frequency response curve but why we don't use elliptical filter even though it is very much closer to the ideal one the answer is that when uh, if we go on if we go on towards the ideal frequency response curve the complexity of designing the filter will also increase that's why the circuits for elliptical filters the methods for elliptical filters the algorithm for elliptical filters are very complex okay but on the other hand the bessel filters are very easy to design but the the very big advantage of bessel filter is these are very far the farthest away from the ideal frequency response curve so the two filter which are generally used in industries are butterworth and chebyshev 
filter and in these lectures and in the upcoming videos we are only talk about the butterworth filter and chebyshev filter okay